pilots, welcome back to RC Air Training Command. It's your test pilot Ryan here today with the Arctech T6. This is distributed by Banana Hobby and comes in at a 51.2 inch wingspan. It's a great little plane. There are some modifications I consider must do to make it airworthy, and I will get into those at the end of the video during our debriefing portion. Uh, so we're going to get right out to the field and fly this thing. We'll show you what it can do. We are flying it with an upgraded motor from Heads Up RC. Great place to get your parts from. It's a Power Up 15, 1000 kV motor. Twisted Grin was the one who found out that it was a drop in fit, no modification was needed, and you could still use the original stock prop adapter and shaft. Pretty cool. So, anyway, guys, enjoy the flight. Glad to finally get this one to you. And we won't play music over the engine sounds. You're going to get to hear how it sounds, and it's a real hoot. So, uh, Enjoy the video, stay tuned for the debriefing at the end where I'll get into the what I consider must do modifications as far as airflow and placement of the sound card and whatnot. Thanks guys, some great T6's out there. It's really showing up good today in the sky. It's the Arctec T6. Oh, it's still on high rate. It tracks really nice. And what's cool. is it does pretty good on the grass. The short gear legs combined with a forward rake really make this little, what is it, 52, 53 inch wingspan model perform quite well on the grass. There were some things I had to do out of the box to make it what I consider airworthy and that I'll go over later. But it shows up really nice. And of course the engine sound. On the Banana Hobby video there's music going the whole time. I'm not going to do that to you. Um, let's go for a little Cuban 8 here. Can we have a little bit of music? There you go. Not the best Cuban 8 but I never did get A's in penmanship. So, here we go. I always did Cuban 7s because I'm terrible at math. Ah, good. Nice lights, got landing lights, nav lights on this buddy. And... A little four point roll action. I always do three point rolls because I'm still bad at math. Ah. How those work out for you? Well, it will land upside down if you don't do it right. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Pretty nice flyer, really is. Of course, like any warbird, inverted it takes some down pressure to hold it there. That's to be expected. And doesn't bother me one bit. I'm gonna try to pull a nice barrel roll over here. And it ought to be nice and big. Look at that, did you get it?
You got that one for sure. Uh, well, actually. And we're coming right back at you. Gonna do a barrel roll in the same bit of sky. All right, wheels down. I'm gonna set up for a landing approach. The T6, like most Warbird models, appreciate like an idle throttle setting. See, it's descending really rapidly. Um, and I had power on, so I'd say I'm at a quarter or so. I don't like that one. That crown makes it weird a little bit. We're standing on the other end of the field today for the sake of light, which is a little awkward. There we go. You can see this little booger will taxi on the grass okay. Go figure. You can see that the gear legs are short and there's an ample amount of forward rake on the gear which make it aid in, aid in handling on the grass. Pretty cool. And then I did do some air cooling modifications. See this scoop here? It's a dummy scoop unless you open it up on the inside. I'll show you in a little bit. I opened it up on the inside and I, I added to some airflow in the aircraft. Here on the bottom. This is already there from the factory and that actually does let air in. The problem with most of these aircraft is you don't have anywhere to let the air go out. I don't know if you can see my finger, but I've, I've cut this window out to let that air go. And after I've been flying the plane, I stick my finger in here and run up the prop, I can actually feel hot air escape past my finger. Super cool. So the magnet also on the canopy isn't very strong, so I always use a piece of tape. Uh, usually the clear hinge tape but that day all I had was this. So you can see right here is where I've carved out this dummy scoop to allow air to come in. The reason I do the air cooling is so this sound card can get cooled off. There were reports in the Mustang of the sound card overheating and burning up the aircraft. 
Well, we don't want that to happen, so the T6 is a great choice uh, because there's ample room in here to uh, give airflow and room for the sound card. The manual has you putting the sound card in between the wing saddle, you know, uh, on top of the wing and between the fuselage. I believe that's also where they want you to put the receiver. Uh, I, I made my mine all work up here so I could access it without taking the wing off because I don't plan on ever taking my planes apart once I put them together. Um, so overall, real neat aircraft. There were some things that were absolutely necessary for the bottom of the aircraft to, to be sturdy. The, um, the uh, wing spars join here underneath this foam panel and there wasn't anything holding those spars in but this foam panel. It popped loose on me one day and I was lucky I didn't crash the plane. So what I did was I used some, uh, got back in there, used some zip ties and lashed the wooden spar to the carbon spar that was already in this flat portion and also used a popsicle stick as a mending plate and screwed it so my wings aren't going anywhere. Uh, another thing I did was to see a UCA glue around every little foam panel there was all the way out to the tip and really made it sturdy. This plane goes together like a puzzle and any of you guys who have this plane know what I mean. The lights are its own foam piece all the way out to these lights and this end panel here. Uh, so, so a little CA glue is a real good idea. Uh, another thing that's uh, just a slight deficiency is, is the way the split flaps work. This one is really just kind of wallows in this pin point right here. And so uh, there are some guys who go ahead and put a third servo in while they're doing this spar modification and, and go ahead and run this as well. Um, I decided not to do it. Twisted Grin was the first to do it as well as that motor upgrade and uh, his looks stellar. So while I was in there doing the spar modification, I also secured the speaker itself to the spar so there's no chance of it vibrating loose and whatnot. I've made it a really solid aircraft that way. So I've got probably, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, about 30 flights on this aircraft with um, 2650 milliamp batteries. I've also used 3200 and I've also used 3000 milliamp flight packs and been just fine. With every other crap aircraft that you have, it's a good idea to keep a look after the hinges, make sure they're staying intact. Um, my vertical stabilizer was severely warped when I got the aircraft and I notified them and I got really no satisfaction. So what I did was I heated up a dish towel, a wet dish towel in the microwave uh, and formed this back to straight myself. Um, another thing to look out for is the foam panel here that contains the U connector for the elevator to operate was fairly loose. So uh, you can see I've got hinge tape on that panel as well um, to keep that from coming loose and losing my elevator authority. They don't state where to put the control throws in, on this plane. So what I always do is start out with real minimum deflection and I usually do okay. So. Uh, so yeah, overall I really like this aircraft. If any of you have seen the thread at RC Groups, you've seen, you may have an idea why. I have a fondness for the T6. I grew up in the back seat of one. There's pictures of me with my grandfather um, with his, working on it. Anyway, I aim to paint this one up like his, but I, you know what, when I got time to mess with airplanes, I'd rather fly them than mess, so that's what I usually do. So anyway, guys, as always, thanks for tuning in to RC Air Training Command. Stay tuned. We always got some new projects coming up, and we're, we've got a bad. We're pretty excited about flying. So thanks again. See you guys. All right, go. What we're going to do is be like, uh, kind of do like me. It'll be funny. Be like, hey, pilots, welcome back to RC Air Training Command. This is your test pilot, Ryan, with the awesome T6, okay? okay. Just try it. Hello, right. everyone. Start over. Hello everyone, welcome back to RC Training Command. I, I'm your test pilot, Ryan Ramsey, and I'm here to show, show you and tell you about the awesome T6. Very good. Very good.